Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and we have the first real information about iOS 17 supported devices today. The information was given to Mac Rumors by a reliable source, and I waited to talk about iOS 17 supported devices in a separate video because we didn't know 100% what to expect. And so it looks like we've got some answers here, both for iPhone and iPad as well. Now, last week, of course, Apple introduced WWDC 2023, where on June 5th, we should have the keynote and they'll talk about iOS 17. They'll give the specific supported devices then, but these leaked devices seem to point to what we thought all along. So as expected, if Apple was to drop support for any device, they would get rid of the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and iPhone 10. So instead of the iPhone 10 having support, they'd get rid of that along with the ones with the same chipset in them, iPhone 10, 8, and 8 Plus. So they were introduced at the same time, have similar RAM, the same chipset, and this means anything newer than the iPhone 10 would get the update. So if you have a 10s, 10s Max, maybe it'll be the last year, but it should get iOS 17 if this information is correct. Now, what this means is that devices with an A11 Bionic or older would lose support with the exception of iPads with the A10 Fusion processor, or specifically the 6th and 7th gen iPad. However, according to the same source, only a few iPads would not gain support for iPadOS 17. One of those would be the 1st gen 12.9 inch iPad Pro that we have here, as well as the 9.7 inch iPad Pro and 5th generation iPad. All of those would lose support for iPadOS 17 if this information is correct. So it looks like Apple would be getting rid of a total of six devices that it would have to actually support. So that makes a lot of sense to a lot of people. I think if they do drop support for it, that makes the most sense. Now with iOS 17, we're hearing more and more details of what we would have, but initially we thought it would be pretty sparse. But early on, it was expected only to basically be a stability update, but recently it's been said that it will have a few nice features, according to Mark Gurman. And those nice features would be something that we've wanted for a long time, whether that's split view, updates to the control center, maybe new ringtones or things like that. We don't really know, but personally, I'd like to see them revamp the icon so that it matches what we have on Mac OS, where we have a little bit more depth, but they're still a little bit flat, similar to what we have with Neomorphism. So not full skeuomorphism like we had with iOS 6, but Neomorphism where they're a little bit more depth, but not totally representative of something real. Also, one other piece of news that came out just yesterday is watchOS 10 is expected to get a major facelift. So instead of getting a full redesign with iOS 17, we can expect a major design update with watchOS 10. That makes a lot of sense as we're not expecting really major updates to the hardware of Apple Watch, but we could get some big software updates. So what that means, I'm not sure. It could be something different as far as the overall app selection screen maybe something completely different with some new redesigned apps. Either way, I welcome any sort of change that brings stability. And so that's everything as far as the overall supported devices that are expected. If they drop support, iPhone 10, 8 and 8 Plus. Otherwise, they'll still provide security updates typically to those devices for many years. We're still getting older security updates with 15.7.4 and even older devices on iOS 12. So expect security updates, just no new features coming to the older devices if they drop support. But at least you'll have security updates usually for a few years after. But if you think there's anything different as far as that's concerned with supported devices, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.